guys, it's me, Clarissa here on Clarissa Says, where Clarissa Says It All, and that's how I feel. So we are back with another video. And for today's video, we are talking about the differences between the misconceptions of skinny and heavier set, you know, people, fat people, right? So today is workout Wednesday, um, and I needed to make sure that I had a really compelling topic. So that is what I came up with today because me and my guy was talking this morning. I'm like, that would be perfect to talk about. So before we get into, the, into today's videos, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, like, share, leave your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure when you subscribe, you hit the notification bell on the right side of the screen and make sure you continue to come back to my videos every Wednesday, especially if you are on a workout journey, especially if you are trying to lose a couple of pounds, especially if you are trying to be fit, thick, and healthy. Health is wealth and we are on the journey together. So make sure you continue to stay tuned every Wednesday to make sure you do not miss anything that can help you along your workout journey. So let's get into today's video. I'm like, you know, you know, seriously, Billie Eilish has gained some weight. She, you know, was skinnier and now she has put on some weight. I'm like, she's eating real good, like real good. And he was like, why is there, why is that the thing in here where, you know, we praise people that are more heavier set and stuff like that compared to overseas where they praise people that are more skinny, more fit. And I was like, no, the, the point was that I was saying that she was, you know, eating really good. Like she's eating to the point that she's gaining weight you know like a, you know making like a little side comment right and he was like well, you know it's weird if somebody is smaller when you get smaller they can run you know a mile without without losing breath but you're bigger if you can't run a mile without losing the breath and he started going on like that stuff like that and I'm like well you have to hold on there that's a misconception that's a misconception that because you are heavier set, because you are considered to be fat, obese, or big boned, that you cannot run a mile without losing breath, or that you can't run a mile at all, or that you can't keep up with a workout, or that you can't work out in general. Like that's a huge misconception. I know, and I had to go into that so you guys can see how that happened. But I know a quite a few quite a few people that are bigger people, heavier set people, and it's not because they eat themselves, as I was referring to Billie Eilish, because she, she, you guys see her genetic, she was not supposed to be the size she is, she's just been, you know, chilling, relaxing, that's okay, a little couple extra pounds never hurt anybody, baby, that's, that's not the point of the, this conversation, but the point is, it's not because they ate themselves like that way, it's not because they are obese on their own, that's just their genetics, and even for people that I know that did maybe eat themselves to a, a higher weight, they still are fit. There are some people that are bigger type people, bigger, you know, bigger, heavier set people that are still in shape. Let's not, let's not get that confused, okay? Yes, we are all on a workout journey where we want a lot of us wants to lose weight, but there are some people that regardless they lose weight or not, they are going to be a heavier type set type of person. And that's just their genetics. That's just how they are. And just because you are heavier set does not mean that you cannot be fit. That does not mean that you cannot be in shape. I know heavier set people that eat less. I mean, minute portions than a person that is smaller. And that can be due to the metabolism. A bigger person may have a slower, metabol uh, a slower metabolism, which, is causing, which causes them to eat less. Or that, whereas a smaller person may have a faster metabolism which causes them to eat more but at the same time bigger or small and vice versa there are some small people that have slow metabolism but they still eat like crazy no matter what and there's some big people that have a fast metabolism and they still eat less they may eat more stuff but their the portion sizes they're really small and it's not because of their size it's just because of who they are as a person human being what they like what they don't like their, their, their makeup of their bodies 
And so I want to talk about these misconceptions that because you are a bigger person that you cannot be fit, that you cannot be healthy, that you cannot be in shape. That is a lie. That is a lie. And if you are a heavier set person, if you are someone that is over 250, 300, whatever, get up and start toning up your body. You can be big and heavy set and still tone up your body. You can still look good. There are some females out there that are bigger boned women that look good. Okay? And the misconception that you cannot be healthy and you cannot be fit at a heavier weight needs to stop being promoted because there are lo- there will be a lot more people that are big boned that are heavier set there are you know a certain weight that will be in shape and that will go out and run and that can run half a mile or half a mile without without um, stopping and 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 beat somebody that's skinnier or slimmer and feel ecstatic and elevated you know elated that they can do it compared to this skinny person that can't even keep up you know, and so I want to talk about that because there are a lot of people that are out there on this journey that are discouraged because of their weight. Every day you wake up and you say, you know what, I'm this weight. I'm 250. I'm 260. I'm 300. And I'm just big. I can't even go and run. Did you try to run? Did you try? Did you try to get up and actually do it? It's one thing to say you can't do something. It's another to actually have the courage to get up and do it and beat the odds. And if a lot of y'all stop being conditioned by the negativity of TV people and just what you are taught because of society and how they see bigger people, a lot of you guys will be more fit, be, be more healthy, have a better in, uh, you know, intestines and in digestive system. Even though you may have aged yourself to a higher weight, you can still be healthy at that weight. And over time, being healthy at that weight causes your body to tone up, be more fit, and yes, in return, you will lose weight. But it'll be that good weight, not that weight that has your skin saggy. When you see people that, that are heavier set and their skin saggy, they either had a lot of skin and a lot of fat that was built up and they, they lost it off of muscles, stuff like that. And they didn't get their time, their body enough time to, you know, snap back because they drastically lost weight. Or, you know, some people have loose skin because, like I said, they could be highly obese, over 450, 500 pounds. And yes, if you are highly obese, 450, 500 pounds, okay, you may not be able to run a mile uh, or without nonstop unless you're like an athlete okay i get it but like the, the normal you know bigger person 200 to 300 something pounds you can you can get fit you can get healthy you can do it today is a day to get up and start doing it stop beating the odds stop having these misconceptions towards your size your weight your physique and get up and get it girl get it and for you men out there too get it man get it guys come on let's get up and let's do it because it's nothing it's nothing to do to, to it but to do it and for those of you that are there first of all let's go back not only are people that are 200 to 300 pounds overweight or or, or obese or fat there are people that are 5 4 if you are 5 4 and you are 160 pounds baby you are overweight too you are overweight as well. That's over your weight. Due to your size and your height, you are supposed to be at a, the, a range of 130 pounds or 140 pounds. So if you are 160 at 5'4", you are also overweight. So it's not the 200s only. It's all body types. 5'3", five, 5'2". Five, if you 160, baby, you overweight, lose some weight too. You can do it. Can you run? Can you run a full mile? Non-stop. And if you can't run a full mile non-stop, it's time for you to get up and start activating yourself and starting to get up and get healthy. It's not just the people that are heavier set. Because just because you are look you look good in the eye of the society does not mean that you're healthy on the inside. So if you're one if you're five four, five five and you're one sixty you're kind of overweight. You're over your BMI. If you do your BMI, you're overweight, okay? So yeah. If I were you, I would get up today, go try to see if you can run a mile. And every day, every single day, non-stop, a mile non-stop, every single day, keep pushing at it, keep pushing at it, keep pushing at it, keep pushing at it, keep pushing at it. This has nothing to do with your your weight. Because just because you look at the scale and you see that your body is going down in size due to your pounds, it does not mean that you're becoming more healthier. The point is to be on a health conscious journey, on a healthy weight loss journey. Not just to lose the weight, but to make sure that your body is seeing the benefits of you losing this weight and you're being the best 
so that you can be the best in, in the best health that you can be because health is wealth weight loss is in wealth health is wealth you being healthy eating the right stuff eating things that your body you know needs to have the vegetables the fruits if you're not eating your vegetables and fruits make sure you take multivitamins and if you take multivitamins, try to get the most organic type of multivitamins. Because even then, sometimes the, some gummies have too much sugar in it, and that just feeds a purpose. You want to, you know, of course, be as healthy as you can. Health is wealth, guys, right? So with that being said, I just want to make sure you guys get the misconception that, one, just because you are a heavier set person on the brink of obesity, on the brink of being overly fat or fat, it does not mean that you cannot be healthy. It does not mean that you cannot get up and run a mile and not have yourself running out of breath. It does not mean that you cannot be fit. The second misconception is just because you're a shorter person, because you're a smaller person, does not mean that you are not overweight also. Just because you are smaller does not mean that you are not overweight. Just because you're skinny does not mean that you're not overweight. Check your BMIs, check your weight, check your height, and you will see that a lot of us are actually overweight. And if you realize you're overweight, make sure at least you're overweight and healthy. You can love yourself for who you are. That's fine. But make sure you're at that level of your of that capacity, or as they call society, and make sure that you are healthy. Make sure you are consciously making decisions to make your life healthier. You're getting up at least one a mile nonstop, and you're able to do the things that you need to do to be the best self that you can be. With that being said, I'm going to let this video go. Thank you so much for those of you that watched this video. Leave your comments down below. Let me know how you feel. Let me know how you feel about this video. Um, make sure you share this video so those that need to hear it. I know there's some bigger bone people that maybe are, has lack of confidence. Um, some heavier people that have lack of confidence. Some people that are even 160 and they are sitting there like, dang, I want to lose some weight. This is their confidence. Every single day, get up, run, do a workout video, um, do an in-house video, do, do yoga, do something that's actively getting your body moving at least 30 minutes to actually at least 15 to 30 minutes a day that's it give yourself 15 to 30 minutes a day to do some form of a physical activity to really get your body in the mood to really get your body in the flow of working out and and, and being healthy because it, it makes a difference it will make a difference on your life it genuinely will be make a difference on your life so get up get at it and be healthy guys health is well i'm done for today Thank you so much for your time. I genuinely appreciate you. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video next Wednesday on Workout Wednesday. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Have any topics to talk about on Workout Wednesday? Leave them down below. And I will make sure to talk about them every Wednesday regarding workout, wealth, and health. With that being said, I'm out. Peace, love, and blessings. Bye, guys.